You there. So I was right. You're a sword for hire. Excellent. My name is Marla Reithen of House Lalu, and I have a proposition for you. I need someone to investigate what's going on in the Vasya Didanat ebony mine. Piqued your interest, have I? Capital. My brother Benar and I share ownership of the mine, but I suspect he's hiding something from me. The little weasels even locked down the entrance. Only his personal guards are allowed inside. There are only two keys to the mine. Benar keeps one in our manor house. The other is carried by the mine's foreman, Knox. I want you to procure a key, either one, and then search the mine for any sign of mischief. Report back with your findings. Foreman Knox is somewhere in Balmora. Should be simple enough to pluck the key from his pockets. Or, if you prefer burglary, you could take my brother's key from the desk in his study. Our manor is just up the hill to the west of town.
You. You've made a terrible mistake in coming here. Do you feel it yet? The cold rush through your veins, the stiffness in your joints. Only a matter of time now. Only a matter of time. <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. You're denser than those stone fiends. Master Reethan brought me on to study a Daedric text. A formula for turning living flesh into a substance akin to ebony. Not a perfect match, but close enough. Mm, something like that. But what does it matter? I'll be frozen solid soon. Black as midnight. A commodity. Nothing more. <laughs> Ironic. 
You mean to rob me, I suppose. The scrolls just there have a care with it. Wealth always comes at a price. Huh? Ah, I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. So, what have you learned? Anything? What? Well, that sounds ghastly. To think that my own brother would be capable of such a thing. We must move quickly. Did you find any evidence? I'll need something concrete if I'm to convince the Hlalu trade barons to intercede. Well done. I have a final task for you, if you're willing. I must take this to the trade baron, Councillor Riveth. He's staying at the Balmora Inn. Alas, Benner has many contacts in town. If he hears that I'm meeting Riveth, he may try to flee. Travel to the Rethan Manor House and detain Benner. Once I've explained manners to Riveth, he'll send Hlalu constables to collect my brother. After this, I'll ask nothing more of you. You have my word. Piece of the puzzle. Time to tie up loose ends. I can't believe they won't. You look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vale? 
She went missing a couple of weeks ago and her father desperately seeks any information regarding her whereabouts. That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. You should speak to Counselor Eris. He's opened the Kin House to interview potential recruits. Freelancers, as it were. If you're interested, go speak to the Counselor. The longer Vea remains missing, the more distressed Counselor Eris becomes. Counselor Eris can be found at the Redoran Kin House, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vea. If he finds that an outsider can succeed where the house guard has failed, so be it. Please, this one needs to get out of here. Those cultists, they're insane. All right, but keep your voice down. I'll be ready to leave soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone asks, you're just here to haul cargo. What? Who? Oh, this one is just here to haul cargo! Cultists? This one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. Look. Renaku just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind and find a safer mine to work in. The Shulk ore mine is cursed. No one likes a Gwar liquor, you clawless kitten. It happened a few days back. The weird cultist just barged in and took over the mine. This one managed to get away, but the crew chief and some of the others are still out there. Happy now, fish breath. <clears throat> Mills, please, if you just listen. Take care of yourself. Father. I'm in need of a strong set of legs, Traveler. And you look like one capable of protecting yourself. Will you aid an old Myrrh in one last task? I have an obligation to my family. No, a duty of utmost importance. But I have grown too feeble to fulfill it. If you would take this memory stone to the few places of significance in my life, I will pay you well. It allows one to archive memories for future generations. I hope to do this for my children, who have grown estranged. Invoke my stone at the locations I've marked on your map, and the memories I wish to archive will manifest. I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Now I suppose the distance with my children is my fault, not theirs. Do you make a habit of randomly accosting people while they fish? I don't see how that's any of your business. I have nothing to say to my father or those his Telvani master employs. Whatever this is about, it's no concern of mine. My father managed to leave me out of his life. He can leave me out of his problems, too. You want to talk? My sister Neria works the stables. She tolerates my father's business better than I do. Malarithan. What a sweat. I'm going to need a stiffer drink. You don't appear to be holding my drink, so I'm sure I have no interest in you. Off with you. I am. Young Malar and I were talking about the sudden success of his mining enterprise, built on some irregularities that I'd prefer not to discuss. Not that it's any of your business. Who are you? Why are you meddling in Flalu business? My, my. This is damning. Dear Mala tried to hang this whole business around his brother's neck. And yours. 
A prudent, albeit sloppy affair. House Slalu can ill afford such a scandal, and I hate to be lied to. Kill Mara, and I will reward you. What would I do with him? Chain him to a post? His life no longer serves the house's interests. I don't expect an outlander to understand, but this needs to be done. Honestly, I doubt he'll give you a choice in the matter. His city residence, I expect, just across the river. Do be quick about this. I'm anxious to be done with the Brothers Rethan. You look like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. We know how to pamper a loyal Guar in Balmorar. My father? Oh no, has he taken a fall? Or did he ask you to do something for him? He's been declining of late, and I'm afraid he's not entirely in his right mind. Oh, Mills. He was so young when Mother passed. I've tried to explain that Father had to work to keep a roof over our heads. But it's been difficult. I raised Mills myself while Father was away, which was often. He's never forgiven Father for that. How can I help you? Yes? Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? My daughter has been gone too long, and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this task? Tell me, Outlander, how can you succeed when my forces continue to fail time and time again? An interesting insight. Perhaps you can find my daughter. Vea can handle herself, but the father worries, you understand? Anyway, I agree with your assessment. That's why I'm willing to bring in outside help on this. Vea fled after a family disagreement. She's run away before, but I'm concerned that she might have something more permanent in mind this time, and more dangerous. Vea knows how to evade the house guard, but as you said, she doesn't know you. Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. You should speak to him and see what his investigation has already turned up. Now, Outlander, if you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the house guard. 
You must be one of the freelancers the council employed to supplement the duties of the house guard. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Vea ran away. Again. I hope you can succeed where my troops have failed. If anything happens to Vea... I've known the Relith family since I was a child. Vea is like a sister to me, and I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Even trust an outlander. We think her friends may know where she is, but they keep eluding us. Perhaps. As long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. I think it has something to do with Vea, but the runners keep evading my guards. Look for a group meeting on the other side of town, and see if you can follow the note. this myself. This letter to Drevis. It's important. Just don't let House Redoran get their hands on it. If you think you're being followed, find a place to hide.
quietly now. Is it finished? Well then, this unfortunate little tale comes to an end. I've already dispatched some of my best agents to clean up Rethan Manor. We'll tend to Marla's apartment and the mine next. Well done. Now, what of this mysterious scroll? Excellent. Best hand it over to me. Something so dangerous should not fall into the wrong hands. House Flalu can keep it safe, or destroy it if we deem it necessary. This will earn you some favor with our house. I'll even double your pay. You sniveling little swit. Do you know how valuable... Never mind. What's done is done. But don't expect any extra coin from me now. You'll have what was promised for killing Marla and not a drake more. This had better buy your silence as well. Well done. This should help us determine what happened to Vea's brother. Uh, hello, can I help you? Wait a moment. You're one of those hirelings House Redoran pays to harass us simple folk. Look, all Vea wants to do is to find out what happened to her brother. Too bad the house doesn't seem to care a sweat about any of that. Vea wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? Even if I wanted to help, I haven't seen Vea since she snuck out of town. We communicate by notes, and this one isn't even about her. Well, if you must know, it concerns Vea's brother. He was an officer in the House Guard before he vanished without a trace. We've been trying to help Vea find him. A local tough goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. But good luck trying to get any information out of him. Ashur is not known for his conversational skills. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vea. Just to the north and east, outside of town. Or is this your way of offering to save me a trip since you're headed his way? You killed one of my gang, Swit. No writ will protect you from us. Being That's it. Out. Kill the Morag sure Tong and any witnesses. I'll just take my leave. No one's getting my axes bloody again. I need healing! situation under control. Just needed them to make the first hostile move. Still, I cleaned enough blood off my axes for one day, so thanks for lending a hand. You were, were you? Was it Melissa? I told her I'd close out my tab after I completed another contract. That woman has the patience of an anxious nix. Well, tell her I'm good for it. I'll stop by and we can conclude our business cordially. Vea? The new apprentice? 
Now, why in oblivion do you care about Vea? Are you now? And why do you want to do that? Uh, never mind, I don't really care. I was asked to pass along some notes, but I'm not really the messenger type. I suggest you talk to Vea's mentor. Last I heard, she had a job in the Western Ruins. Make sure you don't anger Vea's mentor, or even look at her the wrong way. She's grown surprisingly protective of that young woman, and if she thinks you pose a danger... Besides, I'd hate to see you wind up on the wrong end of one of our writs. Oh, Kiran, look! A Dwemer gear. It's in remarkably good condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. And here, another. Could these have fallen off the ruins? Yes, um, that is peculiar. Is something the matter, dear? You seem distracted today. Oh, nothing's the matter. I'm just... I'm nervous. Whatever for. If anything attacks us, I'll protect you. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just... Well, there's no good way to say this. To say what? Marry me? Are you serious? That's not the response I hoped for. Gilan, of course I'll marry you. I, I love you. I just expected something more dramatic. Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. And this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes, Gilan. A dozen times yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful! Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time. I wonder how long it's lain undisturbed. It could be years, decades even. I'd hope to find more Dwemer relics, but I suppose the view is inspiring. It certainly is. Flatterer. You can see this view anywhere now, can't you? And yet I never grow tired of looking. Speaking of looking, we should start viewing larger homes. What's wrong with our current home? It's rather small, isn't it? It's cozy. Just enough room for you and me. And you don't see how that could become a problem? I, um, no. Well, you've done a lot more than look since we're married, dear. At houses? Wait, Bravora? Yes. You're pregnant? <laughs> that happens when one enjoys the view, doesn't it? That's wonderful! I'm going to be a father! Yes, dear. Yes, you are. We need a new house with a real kitchen and a second bedroom. Perhaps even three bedrooms? Uh, one step at a time, dear. Open your eyes. Please, open your eyes. Are they gone? Yes. You fought them off. Dying for nothing would have been embarrassing. You're not going to die. I won't allow it. That's ambitious of you. I can mend more than a scrape knee. You'll see. Just don't move. That feels better. I told you. You're still bleeding. Just a little more. Kira. I can save you. I will save you. Take care of the children. Promise. We'll take care of them together. Promise me. I will, I promise. But keep your eyes open. I wish I could. Bravora! You've made these years so wonderful. Bravora! Bravora!
I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there! The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. Chodala went to meet with the Red Exiles leader and hasn't returned. If I enter the camp and have to kill any of those foolish outcasts, it could have serious repercussions for our negotiations. Find my brother, and I'll help you with your quest. Ah, a fellow Dreleth Hilaron of House Redoran at your service. Though I doubt I'll be very useful here. This is Ashlander country, and they've made it clear I'm not welcome. It's my fault, really. I made a mess of their customs when I arrived. I'm researching for my family's ancestral tomb, you see. My research led me here, to Aldrin. It's hard to believe, but I think my family may have settled here for a time. When I arrived, I immediately started asking questions. I was... Overzealous? Unfortunately, yes. I wonder if we might aid each other. Despite my missteps, I do know a great deal about Ashlander culture. I could help you earn their favor. In return, you could find out if they know anything about my family's tomb. First, pay respect to Farsia Kwamta. She walks the Red Path this year, and it's customary to wish her well. Request to take part in the offering to the first Ashkans. Do that, and you should be able to ask their wise woman about the tomb. Hmm. Your footsteps are as loud as a Kaguri's. What is it you want, Outlander? Have you now? Then you have my thanks, and my curiosity also. Outsiders rarely show us such respect. When they do, it is always because they want something. What do you want, I wonder? Remarkable. You would honor our ancestors. Very well. I give you my blessing. You hesitate. Shall I explain the custom? Each of the four great tribes seek a unique and worthy offering. You must place the gift at the foot of each Ashkan's cairn. For Ahemusa, an ashen fern. For Erebinimsum, the weapon of an exile slain by your hand. For Urshilaku, the bones of a guar return to ash. And for Zainab, the hidden treasure of a Kwama queen. We will see how much fire you hold in your heart. Yes, though becoming is a clumsy word for it. Every daughter of Beloth has worth. When we learn to speak with our water tongue and read the truth in the stones, we also learn the truth of our hearts. The truth is, we have been wise all along.
You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's a Nerevarine, and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander, and the House Elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the Tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevarine is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarine. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. While the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarian I believe in. He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course.
Your wife signed a contract, Gilan. She did not complete it. But... she died. And now the crystals she was to procure for me have been acquired by my rival. I... I've lost the mother of my children. Your failings are not my problem. We don't have enough money to pay you back. Then we will sell your house. We can't do that. Master, please. My, my children... May purchase their own dwelling with their own money. Nerys only just turned eight. And Mills... You would offer an alternative? What can I offer you? I understand you have some aptitude for magic. You will serve me. But... My children... Will remain in your home so long as you do not violate our contract. But who will raise them? When will I see them? You will see them when I don't need you. Or would you rather see them in the street? No, of course not. Thank you, Master Drenum. I will serve you. You sign your contract today. Covered everything I need to explain. Well, to talk with my children. I'm not sure my heart can endure any more of this. It feels like losing her all over again. Please, could you do this old man one last favor? Ask my children to come visit me? I feel like I can finally leave them with the answers I've never been able to provide. Tell Neria we need to talk about her mother. As for Mills, if he hesitates, tell him it's about the estate, his inheritance. Neria works at the stables. She's always been good with Guar, something she inherited from her mother. Mills will likely be fishing on the canal for dinner. He's always kept them both fed. I'm so proud of both of them. I wish they understood. Oh, you've returned to bother me again? I have nothing to say to that man. What is it about I don't want to talk about my father that you can't understand? I don't want his money any more than I want his apologies. Does that man really think he can buy me off after ignoring me my entire life? Leave me alone. If father needs someone to listen to his excuses, ask Neria to do it. Or perhaps you should stop butting into our personal affairs. Have you considered that? I have nothing else to say to you. Good day. Again? Father hasn't been an undue burden to you, I hope. My mother? Father rarely mentions her. I can tell how painful it is for him to recall her, even after all these years. I was young when she passed, but my memories are pleasant. Did he say what this is about? What did he have you doing? How odd. Father always was dabbling in magic. Often it seemed like he had time for little else, though I know he did it to take care of us. Still, I'd better check up on him. I imagine Mills wants nothing to do with this. I'll ensure he joins us.
The master went upstairs to rest. He did not wish to be disturbed until you arrived. Let's go, Mills. He's still your father. He has an odd way of showing it. Father? Mills has come to visit. Father? Father! Oh, Father. I suppose you are with Mother Couldn't at last. resist disappointing me one last time. Good riddance. I'd come sooner. Thank you. We all knew this was coming, but that doesn't make it any easier to bear. My father was a good man, even if Mills never got to see it. Why was he so obsessed with that stone? You said he had you store his memories inside it? I'm almost afraid to do so. What couldn't he just say to us all this time? Still, these were his last wishes. Thank you for making that possible. What? A ghost? Naria. Mills. I so regret not being that as you grew up. What I could never tell you is why my life was not my own. Shh, Mills. I think this is a memory. Soon, I'll be able to share the truth with you. To share everything with you. Thanks to the efforts of this kind traveler, I have archived my memories on this stone. I hope one day you will find it in your hearts to forgive me and find the father and mother you never had. Here, I love you. I have always loved you. You've both made me so proud. Father? Why? Why couldn't you just fade away like you always do? Why couldn't you just let me forget you? Because it's not just about him, Mills, or you. It's about all of us, our family, together at last. 